whisky.de. Treffpunkt Feiner Geister. Like myself, you're having a lot of fun this evening. And I certainly thought that the meat went extremely well with all the different whiskies. So we've tried Glenmorangie Signet earlier on, so we're going to move across the sea off the west coast of Scotland to the island of Isla, where our second distillery, the legendary Ardbeg Distillery is. Now, I experiment a lot with whiskies in our company, and to be honest, Glenmorangie is quite an easy whisky to work with. I can manipulate the flavour quite well because the base whisky is so delicate. So by transferring it into different casks for a period of extra maturation, I can introduce new flavours fairly quickly. But in Ardbeg, it's a completely different kettle of fish. It's a different style of whisky entirely. And as I'm sure most or all of you will know, Ardbeg is the most heavily peated whisky in regular production in Scotland. So if we imagine the whiskies as colours, Glenmorangie is white and Ardbeg is black. That's how different they are. So because the base whisky is so peaty and so oily and smoky, it's not always easy to introduce new products which have a different type of flavour. But you know, we, we, we try very hard, we're beginning to get the hang of it. So this evening I'd like to introduce you to the newest Ardbeg whisky in our range, which is going to be launched in the German market in September. And again it goes back to the time when I first started in this job. I moved down from Glenmorangie Distillery to become Master Distiller in 1998. And for the first three years, I went crazy. I treated both distilleries as my giant laboratories and carried out lots of experiments. And back in 1998, 1999 and 2000, I filled Ardbeg Spirit into a range of different type of barrels. I guess quite a lot of you have tried Ardbeg Cori Vrecken. This was one of the first of the new products, and the spirit in Cori Vrecken, some of it was matured in new French oak casks. But I also filled some spirit into a very, very heavily charred type of barrel. And when you get the barrels manufactured, you have to either toast or char the inside of the barrel so it releases its flavour. And the level of charring will give a different range of flavours. So for these barrels, I gave it the heaviest char you can get, a grade four, or what we call an alligator char. So the inside of the barrel is basically burnt with naked flame for four minutes. It sets the wood on fire, and the end result basically is, is like this. So I don't know how clearly you can see this, but the charcoal layer looks like the scales of an alligator's back. Hence the name of this new product, Ardbeg Alligator. Now I work very closely with a gentleman called Hamish Torrey, who is the brand manager for Ardbeg. And I try and sell my new product ideas to Hamish. And I, I'd spent about two hours describing the new product to him. And he wasn't interested. He was almost asleep. He was reading his copy of the Sunday Times. He wasn't listening to me. But as soon as I said the spirit was matured in very heavily charred alligator charred barrels, as soon as I said the word alligator, he woke up and decided he was going to do something with this. So this new product it has two types of Ardbeg. The heart of the recipe is spirit from the late 1990s, which has been matured in these alligator charred barrels. Again, when I went back to taste it about six months ago, the whiskey was just too intense. It was too spicy, too, too fiery. It was truly a whiskey that would put hairs on your chest whether you were a man or a woman. So I thought it was just a little bit too intense. Late, later, Ben, why don't you get back to the hotel? <laughs> Promise. Promise.
promise. So what I did was I blended the whiskey from the alligator barrels with more classic art bag from bourbon barrels and the end result is the whiskey we're going to taste in a minute. However, before we do that, I'd like to introduce you to a special guest this evening. A guest who has come straight from the swamps of the island of Isla. So ladies and gentlemen, please meet Otto. Now, believe it or not, if you come to Isla and you look very carefully, you may still see some alligators wandering about the island. I personally haven't seen any, but this is one of them here. So this is Otto the Alligator. You know, the, the, the mascot of the Ardbeg brand used to be Shorty, the Jack Russell Terrier. Shorty's been fired. The new mascot is Otto the Alligator here. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, it was suggested that during this speech, I should hold Otto. But since I'm such a big pussy, there's no way I was going to do that. So Otto is here in much more professional and capable hands. I don't know if Otto's going to get to drink the whiskey. I'm not sure if he would like it. <laughs> He's, he's like myself, he's obviously not camera shy, he's used to being photographed. Uh, how old is Otto? Otto is fünf Jahre in, in, am 8. August, das ist der erste deutsche Nachzucht an Mississippi Alligatoren. Kann sein, dass Sie mich kennen, ich äh, beschäftige mich mit den Alligatoren seit vielen Jahren und das dürfte uns heute heute nichts passieren, versprochen. <lacht> So you can see Otto's beautiful skin is just like the inside of the barrels from which we've taken the whiskey. It's very calm. I was going to say, I wish I had one as big as that. <laughs> so, as we say in our bank, see you later, I like Gator. That, that was one of Hamish's sayings, not one of mine. So, our lovely land girls here 
are holding one of the Scottish-sized bottles of Ardbeg Alligator. And I'm guessing now it's maybe an appropriate time to taste the product, yes? Okay, in terms of alcohol, this has been bottled at a very high strength. This is 51.2% alcohol. So my recommendation is you do not shoot this back in one. You take your time and sip and savour. So just once again, swirl your glasses, try and inhale some of the bouquet. It's very, very spicy, very, very charcoaly. In fact, it reminds me of the smells of the barbecue from where we cooked the food this evening. Makes me think of barbecued spare ribs, of hickory smoked ham, dark, dark flavors of chocolate and toffee, lots of spices, lots of nice toasty oak in there. So the alligator char barrels have given a huge amount of flavor to this. So very slowly and very carefully, let's take a sip of this now. And I'm going to watch in particular the expression in some of your faces when you try this. Before we do, just a quick question. Do we have any Ardbeg virgins here tonight? Is anyone trying Ardbeg for the first time? A few of you, okay. You are in for a shock or a treat, depending on your perspective. So let's try, let's have a taste of alligator. Oh. No. <laughs> this is a very, very intense, full-on whiskey. Very spicy, very peppery in the palate. Huge flavors of charcoal of dark chocolate, and it's now making me think of the taste of oily Scottish smoked salmon. You get this nice smoked fish type of flavor. But once the first wave of flavor goes down, you then start to get some of the more classic Ardbeg flavors. You know when they're repairing the road outside and they're laying the new tar? That's what this reminds me of. I could think lots of gristy peat, maybe a little bit of vanilla, and something rather curious, which reminds me of pine resin, or disinfectant, or carbolic soap, maybe even a hint of lime juice. And okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit ridiculous here. And like yourselves, I have had quite a few whiskies tonight. But let's try again, now that our palates are used to the onslaught of snappy flavors from Ardbeg Alligator. Let's try it again. <laughs> this is definitely not an aperitif whiskey. I personally would not drink this with my breakfast. I would maybe wait till a little bit later on. This is a kind of late night type of whiskey. It's possibly one of the most full-flavored art bags we've made. But I trust you can see that the charred oak, these charcoal layers inside, have given all this huge, toasty, spicy, almost fiery flavor to this whiskey. Art bag is renowned as being one of the most complex whiskies from Isla. So in addition to the peat smoke, to the flavors from the charcoal inside the barrel, there are other more complex flavors in there. Something that makes me think of biscuit or chocolate or toffee, a little bit of fruitiness, although I do admit it's very hard to find in this whiskey, and a very, very long, smoky, sooty, tarry aftertaste. In the world of whiskey, we often talk about the length of aftertaste a whiskey has. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, or maybe even on Friday morning, I can guarantee you will still have some of the flavor of Ardbeg Alligator in your mouth. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak to you. If you particularly like the taste of Ardbeg Alligator, there is good news. It's only going to seven of our key strategic markets, the United Kingdom, the United States, France, the Nordics, 
Taiwan, Japan, Guan, Germany. It's also coming to Germany. So in September, you'll be able to purchase bottles of Art Beg Alligator. So thank you very much for coming along this evening. The evening is not over yet. There's going to be dancing, there's going to be jumping into the pool, there's going to be all sorts. But just once again, thank you and safe journey home. Thank you.